In this series of training videos, you will learn all the tips and tricks related to the backup and recovery operations of Office 365. This video focuses on the Office 365 mailbox backup and recovery operations, whereas in subsequent videos, we will have a look at the backup and recovery of OneDrive and SharePoint. So let's get started. Acronis Backup Cloud is a powerful hybrid cloud backup solution for managed service providers that protects all of their customer systems and mobile devices anytime, anywhere, and faster than anyone else. In turn, Office 365 is a set of subscription services offered by Microsoft as part of the Microsoft Office product line. It offers subscription plans for the Microsoft Office software suite and other cloud-based SaaS solutions for business, such as Hosted Exchange, Server, OneDrive, and SharePoint. Acronis Backup Cloud is natively integrated with the Office 365 Enterprise and Business Editions. This integration allows you to perform full backup of individual and group mailboxes, OneDrive files, and SharePoint sites. Moreover, it allows conducting full and granular recovery of all individual and group Office 365 entities. Unlike other file-level backup solutions available in the market, the Acronis Backup Cloud allows you to recover Office 365 entities to the same or different Office 365 tenants. This is especially beneficial for large companies having many subsidiaries with a high level of employee mobility. Acronis Backup Cloud allows you to dramatically reduce the server load during backup operations. This is especially important for large companies who have thousands of employee accounts and millions of files stored on OneDrive and SharePoint sites. Let's imagine a large company having two subsidiaries represented by two Office 365 tenants. The company wants to offer an easy, efficient, and secure backup and recovery solution to their employees. Therefore, they select Acronis Backup Cloud as one of the most innovative and reliable data protection solutions available in the market. First, we will show you step-by-step -step how the company's IT administrator can set up the existing two Office 365 tenants within the Acronis Backup Cloud to be able to perform backup and recovery operations for them. Then, we will demonstrate for you how an administrator can perform backup and recovery operations for both individual and group mailboxes. Let's start with the setting up process. We assume that you've already purchased a subscription license for the Acronis Backup Cloud from your local service provider. It should be noted that the prices for the Acronis Backup Cloud are very affordable, even for small and novice companies, whereas the advantages outweigh their costs. Along with the license, you will get a link, username, and password for the so-called Acronis Backup Cloud Management Console. This is a sophisticated web-based tool that you can use to trace and manage all of your backup and recovery operations. We assume that your company has two Office 365 tenants and you will have all the required credentials for those tenants. Let's log in to the Acronis Backup Cloud Management Console as a company administrator. When you log into the Management Console for the first time, you will be asked to add a new backup entity, that is, a PC, mobile device, or Office 365. Select Office 365. You will be forwarded to the Microsoft Online Portal login page. Provide the credentials for your Office 365 tenant and press the Accept button to allow the Acronis Backup Cloud to access your Office 365 tenant data. The Acronis Backup Cloud will start registering your Office 365 tenant and discovering and importing its resources such as groups, site collections, and users. Depending on the size of your tenant, this operation might take some time. You can trace the progress in the right pop-up panel or under Activities. As soon as the resources are discovered, you can access them through the Acronis Backup Cloud user interface. Repeat the same steps and register the second Office 365 tenant in the Management Console.
Navigate to the section Users. Select a desired user and press the Details button to see all Office 365 services available for that user. Let's create a backup plan for Office 365 Mailbox for one of the existing users. Thus, select the user in the list and press the Backup button in the right pop-up panel. In the drop-down list What to Backup, select Mailboxes. By default, the Acronis Backup Cloud will store your backups in the highly secure Acronis Cloud. Please notice that the Office 365 Mailbox Backup is a resource-consuming operation. Therefore, by default, the Acronis Backup Cloud performs automatic backups once per day to reduce the server load. You can specify the backup retention policy, that is, how long to keep the backups on the server side. You can clean up old backups by age or number of backups. Alternatively, you can keep all the backups indefinitely. By enabling the option Archive Mailbox, along with the Primary Mailbox, you can also back up the Archived Mailbox. Finally, you can enable encryption and protect your backup with a sophisticated password. Press the Apply button to finalize the process of backup plan creation. As you can see, for the selected user, the backup status has changed from Not Protected to Backup Scheduled. Press the Run Now button to initiate the backup process manually. Along with the individual backup plans, you can create a group backup plan for all users belonging to the current Office 365 tenant. In order to create a group backup plan, navigate to All Users and in the right pop-up panel, press the Group Backup button. The process of creating a group backup plan is similar to the individual backup plan. As soon as the group backup plan is created, you can run it manually by pressing the Run Now button. Let's have a look at the recovery operations now. In order to perform the mailbox recovery for a single user, navigate to All Users and in the User list, select a desired user. Press the Recovery button. In the right pop-up panel, you can see all of the available backups stored in the Acronis Data Center for the selected user. You can filter those backups by content, that is, mailboxes or OneDrive. Select Mailboxes. For each backup, you can perform two types of recovery operations, full mailbox recovery and granular recovery of individual email messages. Let's perform the full mailbox recovery. Thus, press the recovery button and select the entire mailbox. You can recover the selected mailbox to the same or different individual or group mailbox. Moreover, if you have several Office 365 tenants within your organization, you can recover the selected mailbox to the same or different Office 365 tenant. Press the Start Recovery button to initiate the recovery process. You can allow overriding the content of the existing mailbox in the recovery destination if needed. The recovery progress can be traced in the right pop-up panel or under Activities.
In the case of granular recovery, you can recover individual email messages from specific folders such as inbox, outbox, and deleted items. Moreover, you can recover calendars, contacts, and tasks. For each email message, you can preview its content and download its attachments. Moreover, you can send it as an email to a specific recipient. The progress of granular mailbox recovery is similar to full recovery. In order to initiate the granular recovery, press the recovery button and select email messages. You can perform the granular recovery of selected email messages to the same or different folders or to the same or different individual or group mailboxes. Moreover, if you have several Office 365 tenants within your organization, you can recover the email message to the same or different Office 365 tenants. Press the Start Recovery button to initiate the recovery process. You can allow overriding the existing email messages in the recovery destination if needed. The recovery progress can be traced in the right pop-up panel or under Activities. Let's have a look at group mailbox recovery. Thus, navigate to groups and then all groups and then select the desired group. In the right pop-up panel, select one of the available recovery points and press the recover button. As you can see, at the level of group mailboxes, you can perform both full and granular recovery. Those operations are similar to the corresponding operations for individual mailboxes. Finally, let's have a look at the search capabilities available within the Acronis Backup Cloud. First, you can perform generic wildcard search for a desired resource such as a group, site collection, or user. Second, for each user, you can perform a granular, metadata-based search for a specific message, calendar, contact, or task. In particular, you can search by subject, data, sender, or recipient. Moreover, you can filter the email messages containing attachments. Well, that's it. Are you excited about the capabilities of the Acronis Backup Cloud? You have an opportunity to try our easy, efficient, and secure data protection solution right now. Just go to our website at www.acronis.com and request a trial account for the Acronis Backup Cloud. Have fun!